What is up, YouTube? Mutt Fanatic 101 back again on Madden NFL 17 Ultimate Team. And as you can see on your screen, I already opened up the 8 pack defense bundle. If you haven't watched that video yet, go back and watch that. I'm not going to spoil it for you yet. I did open the 8 pack BCA defense bundle. So if you don't want me to spoil it for you, go back and watch that. I've gave you enough time already. So if you're still here, I'm going to go ahead and spoil it for you. But I did decide that I wanted to do the 92 overall Richard Sherman set, considering he is my favorite player in the league, if I've not said that enough already. But I went ahead, pulled all the gold and silver players needed, plus Jerry Hughes. So all I had to do was go out and buy the other five elite players. And also, after I pulled the eight packs, I went ahead and did, um, I went ahead and had 25 extra golds and did two BCA defense elite player packs and I pulled two Malcolm Butlers. Before those two, I'd pulled three of those packs and pulled three Jerry Hughes. So I was pretty happy to be able to pull two Malcolm Butlers. They each sell for 50k. Of course, I'm going to be using one for this set, but... The other one I can sell, as you already see, as you see, it already sold, so I can have an extra 50k added to my squad. And as you see here, we ended up buying another Wesley Woodyard, another Sean or a Sean Lee, another Muhammad Wilkerson. Pulled the Malcolm Butler, and we went ahead and sniped an Eric Berry. Um, I'm definitely excited to get this card. I've always loved Richard Sherman ever since he started his rant about Michael Crabtree instantly became my favorite player him and Marshawn Lynch my two favorite players unfortunately Marshawn retired thank you beast mode thank you all thank you for all you did for the Seattle Seahawks organization hope you have a happy retirement and you look like you're enjoying it but as we add the final piece of the collection Eric Berry to the set we get 92 overall Richard Sherman you do not know how excited I am for this moment. Go ahead and screenshot that right there. Whew, it's a huge relief and a huge, I don't know what to say to be completely honest. I'm speechless, man. I can't believe I've got this card. When I seen it came out, I was just playing head-to-head -head Masters. As you've seen, if you've watched my last video, if not, go watch it. But I said that I've been grinding Mutt Master and... I was 40 wins away, and whenever I was playing on Friday, it said uh, add 10 BCA golds and all that. And I was like, oh, the BCA promo's out. Let's see who it is. Richard Sherman, instantly hyped. We'll go ahead and check out the card here. 87 speed, 89 acceleration. He's so slow. I mean, he's one of, if not the best corner in the league, and he's so slow, man. 92 agility is good. 89 man, he's not known for being a man corner. 92 zone, though, is very good. He is known for being a uh, zone coverage cornerback covering one side of the field. 94 press. Definitely a great overall stat. Um, I'm pretty sure the lockdown chemistry yet yeah, yeah, actually does. The BCA adds play rec. Okay. So if I do uh, pair him with somebody with the lockdown chemistry, he'll get 95 press. 89 play rec is pretty good. Um, the BCA should give him plus two of that, so he'll have 91 player rec. And 83 catching is also good. Um, corners usually, to start out the year, have 70 catching. But if they have 80 catching, that's definitely very good. Um, I think every, uh, or actually the best corners and safeties I have on my team all have 80 plus catching. Um, Sherman will now, he has 83. Um... I think Tyron Matthew also have has 80-something um, catching. I'm not sure about Cam Chancellor. I um, went ahead and check out his stats here. 71 catching. Um, I mean, 71 tackling. My bad. Oh, I forgot to turn my notifications off. Uh, whoops. But 71 tackling was a little high in my opinion for Sherman. He's like Deion Sanders. He's allergic to tackling. He never tackles. Like He just sucks at it. Probably because he's not a cornerback, basically. He was a designed wide receiver in college and transitioned over to being a cornerback and ended up being the best in the league. So I guess switching over had some benefits. Um, go ahead and promote him to our starter here, and we will go up to an 89 overall. So very nice. We add a beastly player, 
a beastly, my bad, I can't speak today, we'll add a beast in Richard Sherman to our team and also be able to upgrade to an 89 overall. I've not been wanting to show my team off because I was wanting to do a roster update after I finished Mutt Master. But here's my defense, as you can see here. Um, oh, and he goes up to a 93 because of the BCA. Nice. Nice. I totally forgot about that. Nice. That. Wow. Yes. And it bumped. Oh, Woodyard's up to an 88 also. Wow. He's an 87. I knew he was an 87 because of the field general. But wow. Hughes and Muhammad Wilkerson also get overall upgrades. As you can see, he does go up to 91 uh, play rec. So that's very nice. We went ahead and compared him to Patrick Peterson there. Woo! Oh, I will have a lot of fun using this card. I'll go ahead and tell you that. I'm looking forward to using him on my team. It's great to be able to have a reliable, or a reliable corner in him. It's like a liability, you know, if they chuck it deep or if you're in a third, fourth down situation. You at least know that side of the field is going to probably be secure under Sherman. Um, it just depends if they beat you or if they have a great wide receiver with great route running, such as Marvin Harrison. But if you're still around for this video, click a like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video.